guys it's hannah and welcome back to my channel so for today's video we are back with another unboxing of a beauty mystery box so this one i actually purchased off etsy this was called the customized high-end mystery cosmetic box and i picked up the size small which was a 50 dollars box still and in the description of it it says that this is a customized cosmetic mystery box of high-end products you choose a size box and you purchase it you can message them um with your skin tone, hair, eye color, and any preferences you have for colors or products. So I just said that I didn't want any Jeffree Star products just because I don't really use them. And then I had seen them in some of the pictures. And then I said that I have fair skin with um, blonde hair with dark eyebrows, I think I put. It says also in the description that she always includes at least five items, enough for a full face unless otherwise requested. And you're guaranteed to get a value of way more than what you pay. So we are just looking for a value of over $50. It doesn't say, you know, you should get a value of $100, like how my last one, I spent $60, and that one said it would have a value of about $100. This one just says it's way over what you actually pay. So it was all shipped in this bag, and then I just did a quick little peek inside um, just to see if there was any excess packaging, but it looks like the items are just kind of in here. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and pull everything out. I feel like this probably just has the information of the products. Yeah, so I'm not going to look at this yet. I'm just going to leave that on the side, but I'm pretty sure it has all the values of everything. But this one seems to have a couple more items, at least, than the other one, or it seems to be a little bit more heavy. So I'm pretty excited to get into this. But let's see. First thing we have is from Just Box Perfumes. This is Feather Supreme Eau de Parfum. So it seems to be a fragrance, which I didn't expect there to be a fragrance, but we'll see. So it seems to be just like a travel size. This has five milliliters in it. And let's see if it's any good. It smells really good. It smells very familiar, actually. I'm trying to see if it has any, like, notes on it. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. I'll see if I can look up the perfume, and then I'll put any of, like, the notes or, like, if it's, like, a dupe for anything on here. It does smell very good. I wasn't expecting a perfume, but very interesting. So, pretty cool first item. Interested to see what the rest of the box will be. I haven't heard of this brand before, so not sure what the value on that one is. Next thing we have is a glitter flip from Ciate. Do you remember when these were like all the rage? This is a transforming glitter liquid lipstick and mine is in the shade Trouble. So it is kind of like a brighter corally orangey pink with some sparkle in it. It has a very sparkly lid. So I'll do a little bit of a swatch here on the back of my hand. So this is what the swatch looks like. It's pretty much just like a hot red coral orangey type shade. Interesting. I don't think I would have purchased this for myself just because I don't really wear liquid lipsticks, especially like more shimmery ones. So this one is okay. Not my absolute favorite item, but you know, it could be worse. At least it's Ciate, like a name brand. Then I have this, which is in some bubble wrap. It has a couple of products in that. So I'm going to put that off to the side. And then there's two other little things in here. So this one is from Araceli Ojos Perfectos Gel Pencil Liner in the shade Navy. So I have also never heard of this brand. Um, this is what it looks like. It's just a regular kind of tube. And then it's supposed to be a navy liner. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty black, but I guess you could say it's like a, a faint navy. Kind of interesting. I would sometimes like to take a little bit of liner over here on my eye. I didn't do it today, but you can see I have like a little bit of just kind of like extra space over here. So I only have like a shimmery one from, what's it called, from Pixie, but I was thinking how I need to get a black one because so that I can do that. But I'm sure that this navy one will work just as well, so I definitely will get use out of that one. Then I have this from Wara. This is the Coconut Ellipi Hand and Nail Balm. So again, another brand that I haven't really heard of before. So we'll see. I think it's sealed. I'm going to keep it sealed. I'm going to see if my mom wants this just because it's not really something that I think I'll use. It says that it's an ultra rich hand balm made to treat and soften dry hands and cuticles. I already have a cuticle oil, but my mom has very, very dry hands. She's a nurse, so she's always washing them. So I think that she will enjoy that. So very interesting. Getting a variety of products that I'm not really sure what the brands are but there are a couple of other things in here so we'll see if any of this is anything else pretty good from pure minerals this is the cream blush I don't know if this is like pure cosmetics or if this pure minerals is a different brand but it's kind of like a brightish sort of pink it's in the shade called flirt 
so I can pop this open. I think it's from Pure Cosmetics because that looks like their logo. So we'll see, we'll do a little bit of a swatch. The formula actually seems pretty nice. And this is the swatch over here, a little bit more pinky than what I typically go for, but I really like the formula of it. I feel like it'll be really nice to put on underneath some of my other blushes, like my Milani Luminoso, for example, since that one's a little bit more pink. So, okay, that one is pretty good. Again, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is Pure Cosmetics, um, even though it says Pure Minerals on it. I'm not really sure if this is older packaging or newer packaging. I'll kind of have to look it up. And then we have another smaller product in here. This is from... Jules Smith Beauty. This is in the shade Wise Guy and Gold Mine. It is a like eyeshadow duo, so very pretty. They're both shimmery eyeshadows. Again, this brand I'm not really familiar with. Has kind of a um, like taupey shade and then more of a deep brown. So those are the two eyeshadow shades over here. Very pretty, um, but again, I'm not really sure what the brand is. I haven't really heard of it. And then I think this is the, yeah, this is the last thing. This is from Ace Beauté. It is their Vintage Dawn palette. So I do, I have heard of Ace Beauté before. I have had a palette from them. Um, it seems to me like a lot of these items are from subscription boxes, like how you can do like a Ipsy or a BoxyCharm pop-up, which I'm pretty sure is where they got most of their products because I feel like these little duos and like this sort of random eyeliner, I feel like that's more subscription items, and Ace Beauté is frequently in subscription boxes, so, yep, and then, you know, I've actually think I've had this palette before, and I think I decluttered it, yeah, Vintage Dawn, um, I think I got this in a BoxyCharm, I only had it for, like, two months or something, but I do think I've had this palette, and I think I did end up decluttering it, just because I didn't love, um, the shades in it, so, yeah, this one I'm actually just not gonna touch, and I may just put in, like, a future giveaway, or list it on my Poshmark or something, so, wow guys, I don't know how I feel about these mystery boxes. I did my Poshmark one the other day, and now I just did this one here from Etsy. I feel like the Etsy listing kind of promised some nicer brands. Like, I'm seeing in here Ofra, Too Faced, like, really, really nice palettes. I'm seeing KVD, Kylie, a lot of Too Faced, Smashbox, Glam Glow, Ico, Touch and Soul, Tarte, house labs and then she kind of puts in like a picture of all the stuff that I guess she has for inventory and a lot of it is like NARS, Ofra, like a ton of different Ofra highlighters, bronzers and stuff like that so I was hoping that I would have gotten something a little bit better. I'm also seeing like Makeup Forever, Milk so I feel like some of the items that I got are just again like subscription box items that I could have purchased for like way cheaper if I were to just do like from a pop-up shop so I am feeling a little bit of disappointment about that, especially because, like, I've had this palette before that I've got from BoxyCharm. I ended up decluttering it. Um, and then, like, this little eyeshadow, the Ciate Glitter Flip. Like, this is such an old product. It got discontinued a long time ago. Random brand eyeliner, like, a uh, fragrance. I don't know. This one, I do definitely think that it's better, I want to say, than the Poshmark one, just because I got more items and it was less expensive. In this one, I ended up getting a total of seven different items here. Oh, and I also forgot I have this note. So let's see what it says the value is. So it says here that the total value was $100 and that she also threw in a couple of small freebies. So it seems like the um, Ciate, the palette, the duo, the blush, and the eyeliner. Those were all the main items. So it seems like the two freebies that she counted in here were this hand balm and then the fragrance. And then the, these five items, which were the Ace Beauté palette, the Jewel Smith little duo, Ciate, the pure blush, and then the eyeliner were like the main items of the box. But yeah, I'm not really sure how I feel about this box. I feel like just based at looking at the description online and then like seeing so many great reviews and I don't know I was just expecting like my palette to not be a boxycharm item I was expecting it to be like you know they're showing like the Too Faced Coco Contour and Ofra like pro looking palette and then a blush like instead of getting just like this random pure cream blush it would have been like the Too Faced Love Flush blush I don't know I just feel like it, it could have been a little bit better and I was expecting a little bit more from it but I mean I am happy with the items and I do like them I just feel like they're just not things that I would have purchased and I would have rather spent my money somewhere else instead of spending it on a mystery box. 
but at least I hope it was entertaining for you guys to watch. If you are interested in me trying out any other mystery boxes from anywhere else, just go ahead and leave a comment and let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys!